had to say there was five interesting points. I would have, I would, I would pick the four corners down in Florida, Maine, Seattle, and um, San Diego. Pretty interesting what's happening there. The next area happens to be right above me, between Duluth, La Crosse, Minneapolis, Green Bay, Chicago, St. Louis, and um, the three stations in Michigan. And there's one over the Canadian line, too. And they straddle the Great Lakes, which tells us a lot about what might be going on, too, because um, that ground clutter does not easily stay over those lakes. And I think that ground clutter is ionized air. But that ionized air seems to have the propensity to create a cloud. I also think that this is not a hit and miss. I think there's evidence in this data that shows incredible control. And of course, I'm just looking at the United States. If they can do it here, they have to be doing it somewhere else because upwind and downwind. Another interesting thing about that ground clutter ionization type effects, I see Jacob's Ladder type snakes, lines that wiggle upwind like right now what's happening in Maine. And it's very often against the grain of the storm itself. And then once there is a storm, like this stuff coming in there, and stopping right here, um, there's another interesting phenomenon in that the data that you can then see occurs because there's a hole in the data, which means that when there's nothing to see, there still may be beams of energy bouncing around. So it's very possible that those energy beams are virtually non-stop. Sometimes they're green, sometimes they're red, sometimes they're orange, sometimes they're black. Sometimes they appear where there is nothing else, and sometimes they make what's there disappear. Sometimes they get fatter as they get to a station, and usually they get thinner as they get to the station. And I came up with two ways to look at it. If the beams are coming from high satellites passing through or near lower orbiting satellites, then the beam would be close and look wide. And it would travel further down to Earth until it hit the station, and by then it would look narrow. The other way that it's possible, and, and some of those may be true. In other cases, it really looks like stations right here in Michigan are aimed right at stations in Green Bay and Milwaukee and La Crosse and Minneapolis and Duluth and Chicago. And from most of these stations right around Lake Michigan, you can see two or three other stations. So it's only a matter of matching the clock why I'm really hoping we can read these numbers when I'm done. Which I'm pretty sure I can do. It's just that they're massive. And I have no idea why you 
YouTube gave me a upgraded account because I didn't even ask for it. I'm not sure if I'm being set up or I'm lucky. And I'm being kind of facetious. I'm all over the internet and I use it in a manner that pushes the limits. I've been doing it since 1981 and I know how to take a system like Facebook and make it dance. I can do the same thing with YouTube and I can do the same thing with um, Scribe or however one would say the SCRIBD documents where I'm getting close to 700,000 views there now. And I'm about to throw up my old websites, which were stolen from me when I started getting 10,000 hits a day for healthcare reform. And I think I can do that again almost overnight. I actually bought my old domain names back. That was back in 2004, so what is that? Seven years ago. Big, big huge cotton ball puffs. From above. Down below it looks like Hell, I'm sure. Or desperately needed, needed rain for a hungry farmer's field. like I'm on the last half hour of the second repeat of Coast to Coast, which means it's fourth. 